Hey guys, okay, I'm back, part two. So um, if you didn't see part one, go see part one. So what I'm doing is I'm going over all the prophecies the Lord has given me, kind of like a version of Cliff Notes. Instead of reading the whole thing with all the 12 scriptures or more he gives me every time, um, <clears throat> I'm just kind of doing uh, a brief summary of each day that he's given me because I think there's patterns in there. And I really want people to help study and figure out these patterns. Okay, um, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're scamming you. And I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and He's also God. He came to earth in the flesh as a man. He was born of a virgin. He died on the cross. He shed His blood on the cross, and He rose on the third day. Okay, so I left off on January 22nd, so we're at January 27th. Evil spirits risen. War is coming. Great Babylon is falling. Turkey and Lebanon will fight. War of Gog, Magog, has started officially about to launch. Bin Laden was a cover-up. I, and then the cis, on the move. <clears throat> Islamic countries are rising. Doomsday clock won't go back down. My door is shutting. Palestinians will try and destroy Israel. Euphrates River has dried up. So I don't know if it's all the way dried up yet, so this is... This is where the patterns come in. I feel like this might be a clue for when it does completely dry up. Then there, there's there's so many like clues in there. It's so cool. God is awesome. Um, okay. <clears throat> Obama and the I and then the sister word again um, are a team waging war against the government. You will see fires in the cities. So that was January 27th. You know, he started giving me a warning that fires in the cities were coming and the first train derailment was February 2nd I believe uh, okay you will see floods and earthquakes and economy will fall Obama will rise soon in power so I think he's behind the scenes he uh, in February 15th he rose behind the scenes in power but you won't actually see him publicly um, in charge until martial law hits which is after the rapture uh, okay um, January 28th, weeding out the wheat and the tares. Keep lamps lit, my light will overpower the darkness. Players are uniting, meetings have been scheduled between Turkey, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, and Palestinian. They are planning. This was before the earthquake with Turkey, guys. Battle is starting. Pray, uh, uniting to destroy Israel. Countdown begins. Gog is evil. Egyptian ruler king. Gog Magog war is starting. What he means by that, he's talking about, you know, the players for me and stuff because he said it hasn't launched yet. Um, <clears throat> keep eyes on Israel. Trumpets will blast. Children will be caught up. My sheep hear me. Now, I almost think that's a warning. Like, as soon as this might be like a sign, uh, it kind of looks like once Gog Magwar officially starts, up because you know he said when the nukes go up we go up so maybe that war is starting at the same time got this lovely little hair sticking up there <laughs> okay um january 29th war is coming save you from the wrath coming russian missiles are going to attack germany needs to wake up israelis take cover more attacks coming Gog is not here, but it has started. Calls have been made. Harvest is here still. Look at the moon. Texas, are you awake yet? More is coming. Sorcery and witchcraft will be destroyed. Massachusetts, are you awake? Beginning of sorrows. Pagan statues will fall. Berlin, Rome, United Kingdom, Monetary system will collapse. Providence, Peru, massive army attacks. Tsunami on Gulf of Mexico forming. Persia missiles will launch. <clears throat> Tidal wave in New York City. Flooding in Washington, D.C. Philadelphia, the city will burn. Boston, wake up, fire in the streets. February 1st. Nuclear war is coming. World War III has launched. Nukes are coming to Texas, Georgia, Florida. Take cover. 
So I, that's a future warning, and I think that's going to be right when the rapture happens. Another sign, because he said when the nukes go up, we go up. Um, <clears throat> chosen ones will escape destruction. Destroy all witchcraft and idolatry. When angels sound the trumpets, I will gather my elect for the wedding feast. Once chosen, no longer receiving my words, you accepted Satan's contract. So he's talking about false prophets there. There's some prophets out there that he had chosen that were speaking his words, but then they basically sold out to Satan, you know, either sin or um, just uh, idolatry, money. You know, there are some, some uh, ones that are just doing it for their own gain now. So it was like a warning. Uh, February 2nd, coming on Jewish holiday to be Shabbat. February 15th. It's my holy day. My first harvested of fruits. Plans revealed to prophets. Israel, Israel is my first harvest, but not all are my elect. Opened up salvation to Gentiles, not just Jews. My child returned to me. My door is finally closing. Walk with me in my holy tree. My chosen ones, trumpets will sound. I'm calling you up. Door will be open to you, then my door shuts. Be a wise virgin, I will save you. Wheat and tares have been sorted, harvest is ripe. I'm showing you the day through my prophets. So <clears throat> when he told me this, February 6th is when all of those earthquakes happen, okay? There was like five in Turkey. Um, and I prayed the next day and I said, Lord, you know, uh, why did you say you were coming on Tubi Shabbat on February 15th? And he said, to look up the word coming. So I did, and then Jesus saves looked up cometh, and it means the same thing, just beginning or have arrived. But I think there's two meanings to this because they're patterns. I think February 15th on God's calendar could be the day because, you know, he says, my chosen ones, trumpets will sound, I'm calling you up door will be open to you, then my door shuts. Be a wise virgin, I will save you. See, the Philadelphia church is the wise virgins. They're the ones who fully trust in Jesus 100%. Uh, wheat and tares have been sorted. Harvest is ripe. I'm showing you the day through my prophets. So there's a sign there. There's a clue. I know it. God is very, very clever. And so anyway, so then on February 15th of our calendar, um, an un -crescent, um, a unscheduled crescent blood moon showed up over the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus saves, 2747 on YouTube, she um, underscore, Jesus saves underscore, or Jesus underscore saves underscore 2747. She did the mathematic calculations with the stellarium, and it showed that it was the midnight cry in the Bible. So I don't know how long it takes for Jesus to come after the midnight cry, but I don't think it's long. I, I feel like he's at the door, like he said. Um, okay, so we're on February 3rd. Look at Israel's time. Moon will be at the fullest. You will hear a shout. Israel time, our time. Trees bloom, leaves will be harvested. Look at the moon in Israel. It's a shift in the atmosphere. I am calling you up. Tsunami will form. Missing children, missing people. Look at comet, it's green. High magnitudes, fig tree will wither. So I think he's talking about how the tsunami hits right after the, the rapture, the earthquake happens. It could be all at the same time. But basically the whole world is just gonna go. That's why you gotta trust in Jesus know Jesus, love Jesus. He's so awesome when you get to know him. I mean, he's so funny and he has like uh, the best personality and <laughs> just like quirky little things he does. It's every person has a relationship with him differently. And you know, when you truly love Jesus, you just, you know, he has that funny personality and very, very smart. So anyway, um, so we're going to go to part three. Um, so if you don't know Jesus, trust in him, give him your heart and he will save you. Believe in him. You know, when you're new, you repent, you come to Jesus as a change of mind. Walk in the spirit. He'll change your heart. Okay. Going to go to part three.